today with Marilyn and Sarah and all of you wonderful partners. I mean, Sarah and I love you. We appreciate you. We pray for you on a daily basis. That's a big deal. And here is a testimony, but you can call for prayer about your needs, so keep that in mind. So this testimony is Rosalind. Rosalind is thankful after prayer. Her sister was healed from COVID and released from the hospital. That is really cool, Sarah. What do you think about all that? Yeah, and I know that people are watching now that you have needs in your life. You might have a healing need. You might have a financial need. Maybe you're making some decisions or you're struggling in some of your relationships, and we would love to pray for you. So hop on the phone, get on the website, and we know that God answers prayer. And in just a few moments, we're going to be joining a really, really amazing interview with a special friend of ours, Greg Moore. Greg has this incredible book called Walking in Wisdom. And I think this is so important for every single one of us because as you're watching right now, I'll bet you you could think of some areas in your life where you need wisdom. You might need wisdom in some of your parenting stuff. You might need wisdom on your employment. Like, do I take this job or how do I get this job? You might need wisdom in terms of a decision you're making related to your education. You might need wisdom on some of your health concerns. Maybe you got a bad diagnosis from a doctor, but I would say that we all need wisdom. And there's probably even areas in your life that you need wisdom, but you don't even realize it. So I wanna encourage you to watch this interview now because God is going to help you see how he can participate in your life and bring an upgrade through the wisdom of God in your daily living. So put your remote control down. Let's join now this incredible interview. Together, we are impacting thousands of lives with the truth, compassion, and power of God's word. But there is still much more to be done. By becoming a partner with Marilyn Hickey Ministries, you'll share in bringing God's miracles and healing to the sick, experiencing a deep love for the Bible, and taking the gospel to the nations. When you become a $30 a month partner with Marilyn and Sarah, we'll send you our welcome gift package, which includes the Jehovah Rapha oil vial with oil prayed over by Marilyn and Sarah, our exclusive partner CD set, which includes six CDs featuring 12 never before released teachings, the Majesty coffee table book featuring beautiful representations of the names of God and more. If you have a passion to reach the lost and are ready to release the anointing of God into your life, then join us today by becoming a partner. Call or click today and help Marilyn and Sarah cover the earth with the word. Thank you so much for watching today with Marilyn and Sarah. We are thrilled to have you with us and totally excited to introduce to you one of our cool friends, Greg Moore. Hey, how are you, Sarah? I'm thank Bradley. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greg, not everybody's familiar with you. So can you give us a little bit of your background? And then you wrote a fantastic book called Walking in Wisdom. Yeah, uh, my wife and I pastored for 27 years uh, in Texas. And then we uh, transitioned and came to Karis Bible College in Woodland Park, Colorado. And at Andrew Almick's Bible College, we have about 900 students there. And so I became the Dean of Education and I was a director there for a period of time. And in fact, I've had both of you there uh, e uh, each year, and you guys are such a blessing mm. to the students. Thank you. you, I mean, they love you guys. They they are Thank just you. they are just uh, they're thrilled, and and you guys always come and pour into our students, and so we're thankful for that. Um, now I am the executive director of Army. Uh, that's the Association of Related Ministries International. Essentially, it, we're just building a, a relational community of ministers. Ministers need connection. They need networking. They need a safe place where they can come and share their issues and problems with, and we're doing that with, with uh, Army, yeah. That's so, cool. Yeah. So, That's very and cool. And then we have our own ministry where we travel and, and uh, yeah, it's, gr it's great. Have a, have a our brand new TV program on, on uh, gospeltruth.tv. So yeah, it's great. You believe in refiring, not retiring. Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. And you might be watching right now. If you have a need in your life, make sure you hop on the phone, get on the website. We'd love to pray for you. And of course, grab your copy. We're going to talk about this on walking in wisdom. So 
Greg, walking in wisdom, what's the big deal about wisdom? Yeah, well, this generation is information rich and wisdom poor. Uh, I mean, you can go on your phone and, and Google and get anything, any, you want to know something. My little six-year-old grandson uh, has got a friend named Alexa. He says, Alexa, uh, tell me what, how old Tyrannosauruses are, you know, or whatever he wants to know. Sure. Right. And so, but we have all, we have all this knowledge at our, our fingertips and yet our, our government leaders can't get along. Uh, we have, we don't have answers to, uh, to age old problems. And so, uh, God's word has, has wisdom for that. And so, my, the genesis of my book is that I, you know, I grew up in a single parent home. Uh, my my parents were divorced. My dad wasn't around, and so uh, I, my mom was a sweetheart of a woman, but she wasn't a good decision maker. And I wanted to li- I wanted to know how to live. I wanted to know how to be a good husband. I wanted to know how to be a you know a good parent and. God, would you show me? And, and wisdom, it takes wisdom to uh, make good decisions in Say life. Say that again. It, take, it takes wisdom to make wisdom. good decisions in life. Okay, yeah. but wisdom takes wisdom. Yeah, it takes wisdom for That's us. That's so good. Uh, you know, wi- uh, knowledge is the accumulation of truth and facts. Right. Okay, understanding is the proper arrangement of truth and facts, where you can go find it. Okay, you put know what file you put it in, but wisdom is the proper application of truth and facts. So it's like you you know which principle of the word to apply, because you have, for example, in Galatians six two, it says we're to bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. In other words, that's mercy. Okay, mm-hmm. but Galatians six five says every man's to bear his own load. So that's tough love. So which one is it? Which one do we apply? Well, it takes wisdom to know that. Mm-hmm. And, and that's the genesis of the book is, all right, what part of the knowledge of God do we apply in this situation for the best common good of others? Mm-hmm. You might be watching right now and maybe you're struggling with that. You have burdens in your life or you have friends or relatives that have burdens and you're like, I don't know how much should I carry, how much not. We want to pray for you. We're not going to counsel you, but we do want to pray for you that you would have wisdom. So hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of Walking in Wisdom. Super, super helpful. One of the things I like about you, Greg, is is your practicality from yeah. having so many years of pastoring right. and pastoring mm-hmm. his people. Yeah. And it's and so when you think about wisdom and people, what were some of the things you think uh, as far as that you see with people now where there's a deficiency of wisdom? Well. People uh, are leaning on just the knowledge and experience that they have um, rather than the Word of God. Or they allow, you know, uh, a circumstance in their life to define them, you know, a, a bad experience to define them rather than, rather than wisdom from the Word. And so things that God's put, it, put in people's hearts. I mean, you're, you're watching now and God's put a dream I'm um, speaking to someone, God's put a dream and a vision in your heart. And, uh, but you haven't given yourself permission to succeed uh, because you've had a bad experience. You've gone through a loss or uh, someone that's watching has gone through divorce and you feel like that God can't use you. But uh, God's got a plan and purpose for you. And the wisdom of God for you is that um, the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. And he's got a purpose for you. Don't give up. But it takes the wisdom of God to to draw that out and not allow negative experiences to define us. Mm -hmm. You know, and you might be watching right now and you're struggling with your purpose, your call. And and Greg just really spoke into your heart on that. So we'd love to pray for you. Hop on the phone, get on the website, grab your copy of Walking in Wisdom. Because it's really it's really unlocking those things that God has put in there and yeah. seeing that that understanding that awareness to that's, it. That's right, absolutely. <laughs> I like what you do. You talk about the difference between knowledge because I think a lot of people watching us don't right, know, right. and between understanding and wisdom. Right. And so those differences 
are in your book. Yes. And I just read the book, so it's fresh on my mind. But you will just love it. And what I do with a book that I really like, I underline things. I put stars. I put question marks. <laughs> and I go back through it. So I would encourage you, get walking in wisdom and how to access the mind of Christ. Yes. How to get it. Yeah. Because who doesn't want it? That's right. And who wants to make bad decisions? Yeah. And I think some people think, well, they just kind of retired from making decisions. You're never retired. I'm old. I'm making decisions every day and even every night. So I... I love this book. And so I underlined it. I put some question marks in it that That's I'll talk awesome. to you about. But I know you'll love it. And I don't know how you are, but I like to pass books on as gifts. You can give people a lot of things, candy, make them fat. You can do many things. But if you give them wisdom and knowledge, that is just awesome. And that's what this will do. So I wouldn't order just one. I would order eight or 10 because I like to pass it on. That's I have right. good friends and I have some neighbors even that I'm kind of fishing for. And I think they would love That's this awesome. book. That's nice. And Greg, what would you say are some of the benefits of wisdom? Yeah, you know, the, the word tells us in Proverbs chapter three and in Proverbs four that uh, wisdom is the key to promotion and it's the key to honor. It, it's the key to long life. I mean, it's a, it, it's an interesting study just to go through the Word and see oh. what it says about long life, right? But then uh, that that you would have happiness with the long life and peace. Mm -hmm. And man, in this wor world today, we need peace. Well, all the paths of wisdom are peace. Hmm. We'll be. They're all. It's and if you, you know, grace and peace go together 17 times in the New Testament. And so it, that it goes together like, like uh, Marilyn and Sarah, mm. like Greg and Janice, like beans and rice. But, uh, <laughs> but so what that means is whenever we've left peace, we've left grace or we've left God's wisdom. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, there's, man, so many benefits from wisdom, promotion and honor and riches and long life and and, uh, and, and, and it says in Proverbs 4, 9, all, it says that the, the wisdom is the principal thing. Mm -hmm. It's the principal thing. Mm -hmm. If the Bible says something is the principal thing, it's the main thing that yeah. will help us achieve all the things that God's called us to do. It says, therefore, with your getting, get wisdom. Amen. I love it. I love it. It's wonderful. And we'll be right back. So stay right there because there's much more to come. Much more to come. Be there. Do you want to unlock the wisdom of God and make good decisions in your life? For your gift of $45 or more, we will send you Greg Moore's book, Walking in Wisdom. From Greg's 40 years of ministry experience and clear biblical principles, you will learn what is wisdom? Where is it found? how to apply it, and much more. We will also send you Marilyn's new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It. In this life-changing book, Marilyn gives you the blueprint she has used for reading, speaking, and acting on what the Word says. We will also include Marilyn's Get Wisdom for CD teaching in this offer. For your gift of $75 or more, we will send you the Passion Translation Bible. This easy-to-read translation unlocks the passion of God's heart and unfolds the mysteries of the scriptures to you. Call or click today to receive this wisdom-filled offer. Sarah Bowling, Living Genuine Love, is on a mission to connect every one with the heart of God. With a passion for the Bible and the gift of teaching, Sarah brings a new perspective to articulate God's life-giving revelation to our modern moment. God's heart relentlessly reaches all our hidden places and changes us from the inside out. And Living Genuine Love is equipping people with resources and tools that empower them to walk in this intimate relationship with God. Sarah is a powerful scholar and spirit-led teacher with a gift and passion that takes her many places around the world to bring lasting change to each of us who are craving the transformative love of God. 
At Living Genuine Love, we're committed to seeing you walk in a vibrant relationship with God every day. Learn more about Sarah Bowling and her ministry, Living Genuine Love, by visiting sarahbowling.org or call us at 800 627 1995. Welcome back to Today with Marilyn and Sarah. I'm telling you, this is a wonderful time for you. You say, really? Really? I can tell. I really know. Trust me. Put your hand on your heart. Say, I trust you, Marilyn. <laughs> okay, Greg, you talk about recognizing the voice of God. Could you tell us more about that? Because some people get out of sync. Yeah, you know, too many times... Um, Marilyn, what we do is we we place greater emphasis on the supernatural way that God can speak right. rather than that still small voice or that inward witness. And so um, most of the time when God speaks, I mean, it, well, just it goes back to Elijah, right? He was in the cave and God, God said, why are you here? And he was running from Jezebel and why are you here? And and I mean, there was a there was an earthquake and a and a, and a great wind and a fire and, and and God wasn't in any of that, but it was a still small voice. So mm -hmm. many times we're looking for a prophetic word or a dream or a vision or something supernatural. God can speak in all of those ways, but uh, he he leads us primarily through his word, through sure. his written word, sure. and that that inward witness or strong desire that he puts in our heart. And if we will uh, place greater value on not just the way God can speak, but what he's saying that lines up with his word, we'll, we'll, we'll walk in greater safety. And because what- Oh, we, we'll, safety, that's so good. Yeah. People can get kooky. Yeah, they can. They, and they get, you know, tell me, you know, God said this and God said oh, that. I but, know. You know, show me in the Bible, how does it line up with the word? And do you have a witness in your heart about it? And uh, man, I'll, I've made major decisions based on that inward witness and peace that lines up with the word. And I'd rather go with that and than I would, you know, somebody's prophetic word, though mm -hmm. I, I believe in that. Uh, in, fact, in fact, right now, God's speaking to, to someone who's dealt with a long chronic problem. And the Lord said, your breakthrough is coming by you getting outside of yourself. You need to pray for other people. You need to minister to other people that are going through the same kind of problem. And uh, and your breakthrough is is a contingent upon you getting outside of yourself and ministering to others. Mm -hmm. I just encourage you, hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray into that for you. Because legitimately, God, you're like, man, I don't, I just, I feel, but I can't seem to get, just hop on the phone, get on the website, and we want to pray for you. Of course, grab your copy of Walking in Wisdom. Very, very helpful. You know, Greg, I want to also, I was just, I looked up, you know, it's in First Kings 19, yeah. where Elijah does the whirlwind, right. all that stuff. Um, not whirlwind, but, you know, earthquake, right. all right. that. But I also think about Naaman. Right. Naaman who came and had all the leprosy. Right. And he comes to the prophet's house and the prophet sends out Gehazi and right. says, you know, just go dip in the Jordan River. Right. And Naaman gets ticked off. Yeah. So I think that there's wisdom there as well. Yeah. Um, that, walk through that. Well, I would I would say the wisdom there would be not to get into pride and anger over, you know, he, he, he was presumptive about how he should be treated. Right. And uh, the prophet didn't even come out. Didn't even come out and grieve me. <laughs> right. I mean, this guy was coming out. He had, I mean, he had he had his uh, his motorcade and everything, right? And uh, and but the prophet just gave him a word. And so the one of the keys to wisdom that he finally acted on when his when his uh, people under him said, "Look, you know what is it really going to hurt you to just do what he said?" Um, and he humbled himself. And so humility accesses wisdom. Mm. Oh, say that again. I love yeah. that. Humility accesses wisdom. Excellent. It's it's you know we are it's our pride that stands in the way Excellent. so many times. Yeah. And uh, when we when we'll if we're teachable, if we'll listen to others, uh, you know we we look we know what we know already, and we know but yet we know in part. And so uh, I love what Jack Hayford says that. Uh, the key to my success is two things, 
He said, I stay childlike with God and teachable with men. And so humility draws out the wisdom of God. It draws out counsel. And, mm -hmm. and so, so Naaman, that's how he got his miracle mm -hmm. is, is just by humbling himself. Mm -hmm. And there's someone watching today. There's been something God's put on your heart and you've been afraid to step out on that. Listen, you step out, humble yourself and agree with God and be willing and obedient, and you're going to see God bring great victory in your life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the other piece of that, so arrogance would yeah. kind of be the wisdom repellent. Yeah. God God res resists the proud, but he gives more grace to the humble. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And wisdom is just an aspect of God's grace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's an aspect of God's yeah, grace. It is. Because, awesome. all, because God's grace is everything that he has and everything he is, which includes his wisdom. And it's and wisdom is the principal thing. So God has freely given us his grace. He's In fact, he's been made unto us wisdom when we're born again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Righteousness, sanctification. Amen. Yeah, and, and wisdom came first on that list. Wisdom right. is first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What would you say to a person who, like, they... they are afraid to step out because they're they're scared of failing. Yeah. What would you say? What what would be the wisdom for that? Well, I would just say that you know you need to annihilate fear and pride. Uh, your the, your fear of failing is causing you to fail. You need you need to step out, uh, trust God. Uh, sometimes you just need to do it afraid. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> sometimes you just do need it to, scared. I mean, <laughs> I mean. Sometimes you just need to step out. I'm I'm not I don't like heights, right? I low I'm with you always. <laughs> and, and uh and I had to fight against that and by getting up on a ladder and working on a house, I just said, I'm not gonna yield to this fear. I'm gonna you have to go uh you have to uh come against fear mm -hmm. uh just by acting against it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you're afraid right now, you're struggling with fear, hop on the phone, get on the website. We want to pray for you. God hasn't given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And when you do, grab your copy of Walking in Wisdom. Mm -hmm. Super helpful. Uh, Mom and I are like, woo, woo, get yeah, your we book. Love it. It's totally, we love it. really, really good. I'm, and, I'm impressed that you you read you, you read the book, <laughs> oh, man. Every, it's awesome. Every bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's awesome. Nice. And so, Greg, when you think about um, today in the modern world, um, what would you say would be a very significant, helpful key point to wisdom, walking, access, accessing wisdom? Well, one thing is we, we need to realize the scripture that, that Maryland has used, 1 Corinthians 1 30, that, that when you're born again, Christ has been made unto us mm. wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. So, Really, you already have it. You have it in your spirit when you're born again. Uh, and we read James 1, 5. It says, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. And he gives all, all to all men liberally and up, doesn't upbraid. So, but we, we, we read that if any man lacks wisdom and we, we approach the request for wisdom from a place of deficit instead of surplus. So, uh, you've got a you've got a debit card or credit card, right? Yeah. So <laughs> if I want if I want, if I'm going shopping for my wife and buying her some jewelry, well, I may not have the money in my wallet, but if I've got the money in my account, then I can use the debit card and purchase make that Sweet. transaction. And so for people, when it comes to wisdom, if you're born again, if you know the Lord, He's been made unto you wisdom. So when he said, if you lack wisdom, he said, he's not saying if you lack it here. He said, if you lack it here, if you don't know what to do here, you've got a decision to make. You're not sure if you'll, if you'll say, Lord, I'm making this transaction. I'm using the debt, my debit card of wisdom. I'm drawing out the wisdom of God. And you make that declaration, then you're going to see that that wisdom is going to be uh, made available to you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love it, Mom. I love it, too. And, you know, I, and I say that in the morning, I get up, I have a list of scriptures that I say first with coffee. And so I want you to get hold of this, get hold of the book, Walking in Wisdom. You say, I know it all. Honey, you don't know it all. <laughs> I don't know it all. I read things in here and I thought, God, I never saw that. Where have I been? So please, please. 
And I want you to say today is the best day of my life. Why? Because Jesus Christ lives big in me today. Do you want to unlock the wisdom of God and make good decisions in your life? For your gift of $45 or more, we will send you Greg Moore's book, Walking in Wisdom. From Greg's 40 years of ministry experience and clear biblical principles, you will learn what is wisdom, where is it found, how to apply it, and much more. We will also send you Marilyn's new book, Read It, Speak It, Do It. In this life-changing book, Marilyn gives you the blueprint she has used for reading, speaking, and acting on what the Word says. We will also include Marilyn's Get Wisdom for CD teaching in this offer. For your gift of $75 or more, we will send you the Passion Translation Bible. This easy-to-read translation unlocks the passion of God's heart and unfolds the mysteries of the Scriptures to you. Call or click today to receive this wisdom-filled offer. We all need additional finances. Isn't that true? I think every one of us, if we sat down and really looked at it, would say, oh, I need help in this area. I need help in that area. But I want to tell you about how to begin a miracle. When I look in the Bible, I see that people did something in the natural before God did something in the supernatural. You say, well, what are you talking about? Well, remember at the Red Sea, God told Moses, lift your rod. Then the Red Sea opened. But until he lifted his rod, the Red Sea didn't open. You say, well, that isn't in the New Testament. Oh, yes, there is. Remember the first miracle Jesus did? They did something in the natural before supernatural came. And what they did is they filled the water pots with water. And then when they drew it out, it was a miracle. It was wine. And so I'm going to ask you to do something in the natural that will absolutely bring faith in the supernatural. You can go through your Bible and trust me and look at all the miracles. Almost all of them are preceded by an act in the natural. I'm going to ask you to sow a seed in Marilyn Hickey Ministries because that will be an act in the natural, I believe, that will release supernatural finances for you. So I want you to call in right now and just say, I need a miracle in my finances, and I'm sowing a seed today in faith. I am performing in the natural, which God uses to bring the supernatural. So tell on the phone how much you're believing for. You know, what are you believing for? A raise? How much? Believe for something in particular and receive something in particular. Mm -hmm. 